We're right here where the two buildings, the historic wing built in, finished in 1874, connects to the new annex, so it was new in 1952. But new in 1952 meant it doesn't have sprinklers, it doesn't meet modern ADA standards, and this building was actually built for a part-time legislature. So it never anticipated the volume of people that are in the building today. The building presents safety issues today. It is not ADA compliant. People who have visual issues that glare off a shiny floor like this would affect. The multi-purpose room for the Ranch Grove Elementary School has more exit doors than the entire capital complex of the ground floor. These stairwells actually are functional, but they don't meet modern ADA requirements. So here we're on the second floor in the annex, and the, these corridors are undersized. In most places, the public would have difficulty, watch out behind you, there's things in the way which illustrates the problem. In most places here in the Capitol, it would be difficult for two wheelchairs to pass. Water fountains that project into the space actually are not code compliant. And yet this is our people's house. This is where we conduct our work. The building does not have sprinklers. It does have fire hoses. And I dare say most staff would not know how to access the fire hose. This building was built in 1952. So we could take judicial notice that there's far more plastic in the building today. So if you had a fire with these windows that don't ventilate, there'd be a lot more toxic material from plastics items in the smoke inside the building. This is a mechanical space, very dated. Uh, it has, you can see leaks in there. The, the building is a 66 year old building with systems originally designed for a 50 year life. And, and it just has fundamental mechanical issues throughout the building. And so we get water leaks that, that suddenly burst into offices and, and we had that happen one year with appropriations when they're at the peak of their work. It burst pipe overhead and then they had to move. So we're looking at what can we do in this part of California's People's House to make it welcoming to all, safe for all, support the function of government, and whether you are a tourist walking the halls, someone here to petition the legislature or the governor downstairs, that you can find your way around and, and realize in our system of democracy, this building is for you and for your kids and for all of our futures.